Good morning, you guys. It's Hayden here. How's everyone doing today? Hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Welcome to a new vlog. I'm sorry I started the day a little bit late. It's almost, um, what time is it? It's like almost three, and I've just been busy all morning, so I didn't get a chance to start the vlog. But now I'm here with you guys, and I am going to start off with an unboxing. So I'm super duper excited. I got this item off of Poshmark, and I don't know, I, I, I love, um, actually mom really, really loves these bags. She actually has, oh, well, I already told you what it is, it's a bag. She actually has two of these in different colors. Same size, same style, just different colors. And I found another one, and I really love the bags as well. So I thought, like, why not add one to my collection too, especially since I found one for an amazing price on Poshmark. So I'm opening up the bag right here, and, So here it is, it's in the dust bag, so it came in the dust bag, and it's, uh, can you see the, I feel like the sun, like the light is kind of like, it says Chloe, by the way, if <laughs> you couldn't read it, um, but let's open up the bag together, take it out, do, 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 do. <gasps> oh, it's so beautiful. And I do love the long strap as well. So this is the Chloe um, Alice Satchel. It's so gorgeous. I love this combination of like the black and the gold. Like it's almost like a dark kind of golden brown. But it's so, so pretty. Gold hardware it has the long strap. And I love how it opens up. Because it actually opens up all the way. It's a little kind of squished from being inside the box, but this bag is in such beautiful condition. Like, the lady that had it in her shop just like was wanting to get rid of it. She doesn't use it anymore, and she's had it for a while. I remember this bag came out, I think in 2000, <sighs> I wanna say like 14, 13, something like that. And I have loved this bag ever since. Mom has it in all black and then she has it also in um, there's like a embossed snake and it's like pink and nude and tan uh, or beige but it's so gorgeous. It still has the stickers on the back and on the front. This bag is in such fantastic condition. It literally still has like the stickers to cover the hardware. I don't want to peel them off because I feel like I want to keep them on there too. <laughs> um... I don't think it comes with the cards or anything. Yeah, it doesn't come with the cards, but it does come with the dust bag. Let me make sure the cards are in here. No, no cards, but the bag is in amazing, like new condition. And yeah, it's so cute. There's a pocket in the front right here. So this is a pocket right there. This is actually not a pocket right here, but I guess you can stick something in there if you really wanted. Um, and then the inside has like a zipper, open pocket, and then that's pretty much it. And it just like opens up like that and it does close all the way. But what's really nice is that there's another pocket in the back. I don't know, gosh, I love this bag so much. It's so cute, I'm so happy. Um, so this is my unboxing for the day. If you guys have any questions about it, let me know down in the comments. Um, I, I don't know, I think I was, I, I really want, I really like this bag a lot. And I think I'm going to keep it in the collection for um, a little bit, maybe just use it and see how much I actually really do like it, because I actually haven't used, like, my mom's bags or anything. Um, so, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to love it, but if anyone's really interested in it, let me know, and I might put it up in the shop for sale. But, um, it's just so gorgeous. I love the colors so much. I feel like I almost want to use it already, but I, I'm still using... This guy, and I have his little things tucked in because his, <laughs> the little straps were going a little wonky, so I wanted them to like stay down, so I had them like inside out. But um, I'm still using this right now, but I feel like I want to use this one too. Oh, it's so gorgeous. This little, I can literally just stick this bag inside here. I don't know why I'm sh putting it in there to show you guys, but I did. So it literally fits in there. This bag is a pretty large size. 
Um, I believe it comes in one size up and then one size down. The larger size does not have the cross body strap though. It's just, um, it just has a top handle and yeah. But anyway, thank you guys so much for um, watching my unboxing. But right now, let's go to the post office and we're going to go to the Goodwill. Um, so let's head out and run some errands. All right, guys, just heading out. Have my stuff with me. Let's go. Just made it to the post office. It's really sunny. Just got to the Goodwill. Cross your fingers for me, guys. Hopefully, we can find some treasures today. All right, you guys, just got in here. And I have Sorry, spotted first, a Michael Kors. 25 is not too shabby. Little stainage on the back. It's not terrible. $25. Oh wait, the handle is like hollow right here. I don't know if I like that. I don't like that at all. I don't think we're gonna be getting this back today. Alright, let's see if we can find any other goodies in the regular racks of bags. Alright, I just found a fake Hermes belt for $2.99. And then these ballet shoes, they're size 6.5. If these were like my size, I would totally get them. I'm totally into like the old man shoe. I like that these are quilted, or like, not quilted, but like woven through. That is really cool. I like them. Um, should I get this belt? Hmm. So it looks like someone donated their entire, like, copper collection. Look at how cute this is, like, sugar, coffee, like how cute is this stuff? Everything's copper. This feels nice and heavy. Pottery Barn, three ninety nine. Okay, I'm contemplating getting this silver thing from Pottery Barn. Maybe I could just polish it up and it'd be really, really pretty. I love the shape and silhouette of it. And even if I can't polish it up, I kind of like, just like that kind of aged look. But I also just spotted this really cool glass thing right here, made in Spain, $4.99. I like the shape of it. It's very organic looking. What do you guys think? This is also super cute. I love the little feet. Like adorable. Oh, there's even this one. It comes in another color. Oh, it's from Home Goods, originally $10. Okay. Oh, these glasses are kind of pretty. I like that. $1.99. Look at that shape. Looking at this mercury glass bottle, it says poison on it. <laughs> Caution. Oh, they still have this star thing. It's so cute, but I don't like things when they're chipped because I'm just going to end up buying everything. I know I can just put flowers in it. It'll be really pretty, but I'm just like trying to be strong and not buying a million different things. Why do I kind of like the pattern on that thing? Oh my gosh, do you see the animal print plates? Ooh. Okay, I don't really see anything in like the dinnerware section. These cups are kind of cool, but no. Um, yeah, nothing catching my eye here. This little green vignette. This little yellow one was looking really sparse. Look at that, you can hang that on your door. Pac-Man, these Day of the Dead skulls. Oh, this burger. Oh, is that like a little, it almost looks like Ducky Momo. But it's not Ducky Momo. It's so cute though. Oh, is that Kesha? 
I can hear Kesha playing somewhere. Okay, I feel like I don't really see anything today. Heading out, just got this stuff. Hey guys, okay, so I'm just coming back on to end the video. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I had a blast. I'm so excited for that stuff that we found at the Goodwill. Um, I know I just got two things, but I really like that, um, the Pottery Barn Bowl and then the, like, the fake Hermes belt. Um, I might put that belt up for sale. I'm not too sure. Um, but I really can't wait to clean up that bowl and make it look beautiful and shining and new. So, um, I'll show you guys how that looks once, uh, I fix it up. And, okay. Can I just tell you guys how much I love my new Chloe? Like, I'm so obsessed with it. Now I know why mom has two, because she loves the bag so immensely. It's, like, such a great bag. It holds so much. And it's kind of, like, compact, but, like, still, like, it holds every like everything that was in my Celine Phantom, like, fit inside the Chloe. So I'll show you guys what's in there in another video. Um, I know a couple of you guys have been asking for a what's in my bag video, and I'm definitely going to be doing one on my Proenza probably um, sometime next week um, that video will go up, just because I want to have used it for at least like a week um, before I show you guys like what's inside, because like, I don't know, I always clean it out um, right before I put it in, and then like once I like live in the bag for a little bit, like then that's when all the fun stuff gets, I don't know, but um, yeah, oh, tomorrow we're going to go thrifting, so I'm super duper excited. Um, and I can't wait for that. So don't forget to tune in tomorrow for tons of thrifting action. It's going to be so much fun. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it for now. I love you guys immensely. I look like a hot mess. Um, so I need to like, fix up this oily face. I love you guys immensely. See you all tomorrow. Bye. Just kind of going through the bags really quick. There's, that Mark Fisher was kind of cute. I'm super happy about my leaf skin though. It's in really good conditions. Really only missing the crossbody strap. But you know, you can always just add like a cool, like, colored strap to it. If you have like an extra one. It's always fun to do like the contrasting like straps too. So, or if you have like a cool metallic or, um, not metallic, but like a chain one. That'd be super awesome.